What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Hardware Sales channel. My name is Ivan and today we are looking at a very interesting product. This is the Xiaomi's Wembo portable projector. I'm super excited about this one and this one came from my friends at Banggood. They contacted me a couple weeks ago and they asked me, hey, would you like to check out this uh, Wembo little projector from Xiaomi and I was like yeah absolutely I've been a huge fan of Xiaomi products if you've been with my channel for a while you know I have a ton of Xiaomi things around my house that I like to surround myself with and the Wembo it's one of those little projectors that is less than $150 but offers a lot of options and I was very intrigued to see how it's going to work out so as always we're going to do a quick unboxing we're going to go through a little setup and kind of demonstration of the os uh, currently this one has a built-in android tv a uh, bit of an older version android tv 6 and the, the hardware inside is one gigabyte of ram and 16 gigabytes of internal storage uh, but uh, if you get this one i'm going to tell you right away it's probably better to use it with uh, fire stick or uh, maybe roku stick or some of these external devices or android tv uh, so you can plug it in directly to the hdmi and that way you have much more modern faster uh, and better os and hardware that, that way you can just use the project to display everything on the wall or on your screen but yeah let's go ahead and look at it and then at the end we're going to talk about everything in the conclusion Quick unboxing with that Wemba portable projector. Very nice box, having all the features outlined outside. Electronic key store correction, two three watt speakers, HD input, which is HDMI, fully sealed a light engine, which is great. And this is actually the size of it. You can see from the pictures how small this projector is. Super compact. And if you're traveling somewhere, you wanna have it show your movies or videos on a bigger screen. This is a great option right here. A lot of uh, good features, but I am excited to see what's inside and test it. Opening it up, very nice presentation, very nice box, well isolated. We have a quick start guide right on the top and then the projector is sitting on top of it, but let's see what else is inside. All right, so right on the top, we have the fairly compact remote control, mute, plus and minus for the volume, back home menu, back and home settings so very very compact we'll see how that works and this is the power supply for it we have 100 to 240 volts so this is international and it's supplying 57 watts very nice and then at the end we have a regular cable and a european style plug because this one is for the european market but uh, they have provided in the package an adapter or you can change this whole cable get your regular us style from one side and the other side so you can use that that way and this is exactly what i'm actually going to do here is our projector and look how tiny this projector is this is my palm on the bottom so basically almost the size of my palm maybe just slightly larger the abs plastic is very nice quality very well polished we have the keystones here four rubber feet on the bottom we have some of the information three and a quarter inch thread right here as well we have the fan both speakers on both sides and in the back we have the power usb hdmi and we have the headphones probably the best thing will be if you're planning to use this with something high quality sound just use a high quality receiver or just plug in a regular fire stick or or android tv right here on hdmi and i'll put the speakers or i'll put them through the headphones uh, to something else so this is a very good uh, option and this is all glass as mentioned and they have a sticker right in front of it you can see it but we're gonna fire it up and see how it works for now this is pretty much it for the unboxing there's nothing else in the box but that's plenty let's go into a testing and of course we're going to talk about at the end in the conclusion all right now installed it on the wall what can i say it looks pretty amazing i gotta say for that little size of a projector and the hardware inside the menus and everything looks great uh, we're gonna go through the settings real quick pressing the settings button on your main on your remote control will bring you here where you have the wi-fi bluetooth we have apps display in display there's not much just the font size storage in usb as storage we have 16 gigabytes on board and that's about it in the general settings so if we go out in the main menu we have app store 
we have some advertisements for Facebook and Chrome but right here we have some zoom settings if we go inside we have four point scaling which here we can adjust our screen if we want to do some changes here or we have indefinitely scaling again whole zoom vertical zoom and horizontal zoom you can do uh, selections here and kind of adjust everything based on the location of the projector and based on the screen where exactly you want it so from here you can do all these adjustments next one is mirror cast so if you can cast on onto it local mm this is all the local storage if you have anything on the local storage or if you have a network storage you can add a samba device so in my case i have a local server so i can definitely add this over here and play all the movies that are on my local server but again, the way this hardware on the one ball is, uh, I advise you to use some external device and do the HDMI input. Obviously we have YouTube, browser, those are the settings, uh, ECR server and Netflix. So we'll check the Netflix in a second, but they already give you some suggestions here, music, sports, and this is the source and again, the settings. So pretty simple, but uh, nothing different than the older versions, if you guys are familiar with uh, your Android TV and on top we even have uh, date and time and some weather which we're gonna need to figure out how to change this because currently this is in Celsius and being in the US you might want to check out the Fahrenheit but I gotta say it looks pretty good this is completely dark room by the way I'm not sure the camera picks up details and stuff like that I wish it does because in person it looks really really good for the price of this projector I'm surprised how good uh, it looks so let's see if we can play something real quick uh, hopefully we're not gonna get uh, triggered uh, for patent infringement or anything like that so we'll open up Netflix and inside Netflix uh, let's see we can try any of these uh, maybe Ragnarok I'm not familiar with this show but whatever just you get the normal uh, interface and you can play it straight up let's see how the playback is gonna be if it's gonna lag or anything like that Considering uh, the hardware, you might see some stutters. Then again, uh, like I said before, uh, make sure to use any external source and it will be much better. The speakers, the built-in speakers are okay, but of course, if you, are, if you want a better experience, you might want to decide to output that sound to something better, like external speakers. We have mute button as well. I mean, the picture quality is great, guys. I don't know what you're thinking, but for me, it is absolutely great uh, from a projector that's cost less than $150. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to test a lot more. I'm gonna have uh, future updated videos uh, with external sources and see how far, how big of a screen we can get before we start losing real uh, quality. But if you have a completely dark room, uh, you can expect a very high quality picture uh, especially considering the price. I mean, it's not going to be a $2,000 or $3,000 projector kind of screen and quality, uh, but it provides plenty of brightness. I mean, you know, with, with the small uh, light and the, sm uh, the small amount of lumens it's outputting, it still look exceptional compared to some a lot more budget uh, friendly projectors that I've seen in the past. Uh, that one is uh, a definite winner, I have to say. I'm super excited to use this one. Uh, I'm sure my kids will love it as well. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, for the overview and uh, the initial impressions of the Wembo. Such a great little projector, so compact. You can throw it in your backpack, you can throw it in your carry-on, take it on trips, uh, no matter where you go, as long as you have some nice uh, clean wall to put it and output or not, not even a special screen and you're still gonna be able to have a better experience and bigger screen. But you see the menus are fairly f fairly fast. They're not too slow. Um, but again, if you have an external source plugged in like something like Fire Stick or Roku, it's gonna be a lot faster. And let's see that Play Store. What are they having here? Uh, this is definitely not your typical Play Store, but you have, you have some apps that you can install, Skype. I wonder if there's Plex here. Let me search for it because Plex is essential for everybody that is home streamer or... Oh, there we go. We have Plex and then we can download it and install it no problem. So yeah, pretty nice. I mean, it's not your typical kind of official Google Play Store, but hey, settings, upgrade. What are we gonna upgrade here? Check for upgrade. All right, we're gonna check for upgrade. We got the latest version, all right, no problem. Back, update, we're gonna update our YouTube, okay. So interesting uh, kind of fork of a Play Store. I'm not sure if that's uh, 
Xiaomi creation or not whatnot, but it looks pretty good. You can get some updates and uh, some more apps other than the ones that are already installed. Downloading them now and they're gonna appear on our main screen hopefully we'll see plex is still downloading youtube is installing currently one thing to notice is the sound uh definitely if you are if you're watching movies or videos on a completely uh silent room uh, you will be able to hear the fan uh coming from the little projector so hopefully you can position it somewhere uh maybe above and kind of behind you that way you'll be a little bit more isolated from the sound, but it's definitely audible. So you gotta keep that in mind. If you're watching with headphones, if you are putting through receiver and much more powerful speakers, you're not gonna hear it. So maybe that's gonna be okay. But if you're relying on the built-in speakers and you're close to it, uh, the fan is definitely audible. Um, the heat produced is not too much that's coming from it. Uh, that's just kind of in the front, pulls the cool air from the back and exhaust in the front so plex installed and working no problem i'm really really happy with uh, how everything comes out so that's it for the initial overview of the wembo as you can see the screen it's still behind my back on the wall still very nice i am surprised how well this little projector actually uh, is performing but let's go in and talk about it in the conclusion. All right, conclusion time. What do I think about the Wembo? That little guy really surprised me of some of those features that it offers for the price tag under $150. Very small and compact package that you can take on the go. You can take it on the road, you can take it inside your backpack or you carry on, just throw it in, uh, pack it well, obviously, or use this box. Uh, but look how small it is. I mean, it's about the size of my hand. Uh, it runs uh, pretty cool. I mean, maybe an hour of testing and it didn't heat up too much. Uh, the fan is a little bit noisy. That's one of the things you're going to notice right away in a complete silent environment. You will hear that fan run pap. But if you're using your headphones or you're outputting the sound to something more powerful, external amplifier with big speakers, you're not going to hear it. It's not going to bother you, especially if it's a little bit off to the side or above you, behind somewhere. Uh, you're not going to he uh, hear that sound. But all glass elements, great picture quality, 1080p output with no problem. Uh, external, we have HDMI and we have USB if we can display directly. We have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. So options are here. Great quality, very competitive price. And if you're in the market of a, of a tiny portable projector like this, I'm definitely recommending this one. And I'm not just saying it because uh, my friends from Banggood sent it to me. But I, I am really genuinely impressed of how well it performs. And it can be a lot of fun, not only at the house, but on the go as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell notification to get notified for every new review coming your way. And if you want to support this channel, check out the link in the description of this video. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.